Hello and welcome to this workshop introducing the new Listing Quality Report. My name is Berenger Chantreau Fuchs and I am Head of Product Marketing at eBay UK. Many of you have told us how hard it is to find concrete tips on improving your listings. This is where eBay's new Listing Quality Report comes in. The report gives you key information about your listing and category performance on eBay so you can make informed decisions about how to improve your listings. By the end of this workshop, you could expect to understand what the Listing Quality Report is, how you can use it to benefit your business, and what you will find inside it. Finally, we'll finish with where the data for the report comes from. So let's start at the beginning. The Listing Quality Report provides you with analysis at listing and category level of your 10 categories with the most live listings. You can think of the analysis as a comprehensive health check for your category. We looked at every aspect of your listing in detail and present a report that highlights the strengths as well as the weaknesses in your categories, allowing us to generate actionable recommendations for you. The report has been developed with input from the seller community and because it is still evolving, you can expect to see changes from time to time as we worked to improve it. There are three key ways that the report can benefit you. First, it gives you actionable recommendations to help increase impressions, views and sales. We looked at what these recommendations are and how they are generated in more detail later. Second, it shows you how you compare to your competitors when it first comes to things like including item specifics or offering free shippings in your listings. Improving these things has a direct relationship with your rank in eBay search. Third, the report offers you valuable insight into Google Shopping. In a dedicated tab, you will find out how many of your listings were rejected and the reason why, enabling you to take action if you wish. On a more general note, the report works on a self-service basis. It's up to you which categories, listings and data to look at. The choice is yours. And to help you understand and navigate the report, we've included a tab labeled Guide. Before we look inside the report, let's consider a couple of ways you could use it. Firstly, you might find the report useful when first listing on eBay or when you start listing items in a new category. The report will quickly allow you to see what other sellers include in their listings and show you what's working and what's not in a particular category. Secondly, we mentioned the concept of a health check at the start of this workshop. This report is a bit like giving your inventory a checkup because it is not just about what can be improved. It's also about looking at what is working well by seeing where your listings meet or exceed the top 10% benchmark figure. Perhaps the strong areas can be replicated elsewhere in your inventory. And finally, you could use the report to help combat a drop in performance if you are seeing this in a particular category. Applying our recommended actions at listing level could help bring up your listing and your overall category performance. Now, let's look at the report in detail. The Listing Quality Report is available to selected sellers and frequent users of the Seller Hub Performance tab. It will be extended to all shop subscribers progressively over the coming months. On the main page of the Seller Hub Performance tab, you will find a message and a button to download the report. The report itself is an Excel file that you can download and open. The report is also compatible with Google Sheets and Apple Numbers and a CSV version of the report is coming soon. Once open, you will find several tabs within the report. A Summary tab, a Google Shopping Rejections tab and separate tabs for each listing category, up to 10 of them. Let's go straight to the Summary tab. The summary tab contains an overview of our analysis at category level. The categories shown are your 10 categories with the biggest number of live listings. 
the category summaries are also differentiated by listing condition. For example, the first category summarized is refrigerator and freezer parts, and the listings analyzed were all new items. If you also sell used items in this category, these will appear further down the page and have their own analysis. Other listing conditions we currently analyzed include refurbished and non-specified. Having a category analysis specific to each listing condition is intended to help you optimize your categories in a more targeted manner. Scrolling from left to right, you will see, first, our recommendations. Second, the benchmark data explaining why we have recommended this. For each category, we have also included your sales rank, which positions you among your competitors. This is based on your total sales for listings within this category over the last 31 days. Clicking on Show Recommendations per Listing will then take you to the dedicated tab for that category. And further right, you will find a link to some useful resources to help you get started. And this is what the Category tab looks like. The funnel on the left is used as the basis for the analysis. Impressions, clicks and sales represents the stages of the funnel as buyers progress through their shopping journey. These stages can be independently analysed and therefore improved on. The first stage of the funnel represents buyers searching for an item. Every time a listing is shown on our search platform, we refer to this as an impression. The next stage of the funnel represents buyers clicking on the item to view it. And the final stage in the funnel is where sales are completed. As you can see, the funnel becomes narrower at every stage and it's our aim to try and keep as many people engaged through to the end. To do this, both eBay and eBay sellers need to focus on listing quality. So what do we do to generate our listing quality recommendations? Let's say you want to improve your impressions for work clothing shirt, condition new. We looked at all eBay listings in this category and condition and ranked them from highest to lowest in terms of impressions in search. Then we looked within the top and bottom 10% of these results and analyzed various factors, such as the number of keywords in each title the number of item specifics or photos in each listing. You will then find recommendations to improve your listing quality based on those factors in each category tab. Let's take an example. This is what the category tab looks like. Let's start at stage one of the buyer funnel, improving impressions. For this category, work clothing shirts, the analysis shows that the top 10% of listings i.e. those with the most impressions, have eight item specifics per listing, while this particular seller has only three. Our recommendation is then to add item specifics to listings in this category, as this could help improve their impressions. The same analysis is applied to clicks and sales. The analysis of clicks here does not return any areas for improvement, which means that this seller's listings meets the same quality as the top 10% and should perform to a similar level. If you see this in your report, great job! However, the sales analysis shows that listings with the most sales in this category have more photos per listing than this seller. Our recommendation is then to add more photos for listings in this category. To make things easier, the listing concerned, in this case those with too few item specifics of photos, are shown at the bottom of the same tab so you can easily locate and edit them straight away if you choose to. If you scroll to the right, you will see some of the other factors that we mentioned, such as whether the brand name has been included and product identification codes, among other things. Even though many of these are not highlighted as the key opportunities for improvement, 
They give you a good overview of your listings and their qualities, as well as helping you to understand your performance in relation to other sellers. Now, let's move on to the Google Shopping tab. Every day, eBay sends selected and eligible items from sellers to Google to be displayed as part of the Google product listing ad. Some listings are rejected by Google because they do not meet their criteria. In this tab, you will find a summary at the top. And underneath, this is a listing level overview of why each listing was rejected. Again, each listing is clickable, so it's quick and easy to resolve each issue. This tab provides a valuable means of instantly improving your chances with Google Shopping Ads. So we highly recommend that you take a look and see if there is anything you can improve on. At this stage, you may be saying to yourself, great recommendations, but where does the data come from? So let's finish up by looking at this for a minute. The benchmark data, i.e. the top and bottom 10% in terms of impressions, views and sales, is internal eBay data from the last 31 days and these are things we are always tracking. Your report is updated once a day, but it can take up to two days for changes to be reflected in the report. Furthermore, once you've downloaded your report, this analysis is static and won't change as your performance does. Therefore, we recommend that you download your report once a week or more if needed so that you can actively monitor your progress. As we already mentioned, the report is constantly evolving and we're making changes based on your feedback. Some of these changes may include the option of downloading it as a CSV file or even the potential to choose which categories you'd like to see the report. The report is available to download now from Seller Hub. We hope you found this video helpful and we'd love to hear from you if you have any feedback or questions. Just use the feedback link under the performance tab or click on share feedback in the report itself. So that's it in a nutshell. The listing quality reports provide you with specific and actionable recommendations at category and listing level. We hope that the suggestion will enable you to carry out specific improvements that will help your business grow. Because when you succeed, we succeed. Thanks for watching.